गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज फाइटो रेमिडेशन इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द बायो रेमिडेशन इन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड द रोल ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम इन बायो रेमिडेशन प्रोसेस सो इट इज बायो रेमिडेशन इट इज रेमिडेशन ऑफ एनवायरमेंट through the use of living organism in today's lecture we are going to see the use of plants to remedy the environment so what is the definition so definition is it's a, a bioremediation process where plants are used to remove or to transfer or to stabilize and destroy the contaminants or the pollutants which are present in the soil and groundwater and these are the natural filters which are present in the ecosystem and this technique by phytoremediation technique is widely accepted compared to the use of microorganism because this technique is most uh, effective and having the low cost then plus it's environmental friendly then you can the plants which are used for phytoremediation that can be disposed or burned for example the sunflower plants which are used in Uh, at the chernobyl nu chernobyl nuclear power plant to remove the contaminant like cesium and strontium so that is the definition now we are going to see the types so there are several types of phytoremediation that is based upon the contaminant fates generally there are five types so that is uh, फाइटो स्टेबिलाइजेशन फाइटो होलोटाइजेशन देन फाइटो स्टिम्युलेशन फाइटो एक्सट्रैक्शन एंड फाइटो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दीज आर द टाइप्स वेर द कंटेमिनेंट्स आर एक्यूमुलेटेड और दोज आर रिमूव और दोज आर कन्वर्टेड और डिस्ट्रॉयड सो इन दिस डायग्राम यू विल कम टू नो द फेट ऑफ द पोलूटंट द रेड डॉट और द रेड कलर स्क्वेर और दिस सर्कल आर द पोलूटंट्स यू कैन सी इन फाइटो स्टेबिलाइजेशन so this pollutant is converted into more stable form then uh, you can see the in, in case of phyto extraction this pollutant is absorbed or it is accumulated into the leaf then in uh, phyto holotization you can see the contaminants are released into the environment through the leaf and in phyto degradation this pollutant is degraded into less toxic form so we are going to discuss one by one then what kind of plant that can be used for phyto remediation process so you can see the different grasses then sunflower then corn then indian mustard then water hyacinth tobacco these are the plant that is that are used for phyto remediation process one is common example is alu which is uh, used or which is cultivated into the uh, water which is released from the bathroom then now we are going to discuss types one by one what is phyto accumulation so in this process plant will accumulate the contaminant or the pollutant in the root and leaf then what is phyto transformation or phyto degradation where the plant will convert this pollutant into more stable or less toxic form for example the metal chromium which is reduced from hexavalent to trivalent valency which is more more stable or less mobile and non carcinogenic form then phyto stabilization so in this form the mobility of the contaminant or the pollutant is reduced so that it will be remain in the soil it will be not leached or it will be not released into the underground water or it will not re enter into the environment then rise of filtration so in rise of filtration there is mainly use of plant roots that will uptake the contaminant from the water and this rise of filtration process or this technique use you it is used in wetlands and estuary areas then uh, then rise of degradation or phyto degradation so um, there is one concept of rhizosphere rhizosphere so that is rhizos 
sphere is the symbiotic relationship between the plants and microbes so plant will provide the nutrients to microbe so that microbe will provide some protein and enzyme to degrade the contaminants which are absorbed by plants so that is rhizosphere or rhizo degradation then you can take the help of this table for the more explanation then what is phytovoltaization so plant will absorb the contaminant from the water and that will be released into the air through the leaf and this uh, phytovoltaization is used for soil and and ground water contaminants so this is about phyto remediation you will get two marks question plus a major question on this topic and in viva there is also question on this topic so this is about phyto remediation thank you